Revenge films. My husband took my daughter away from me by working with my in-laws, who have always bullied me. In order to let my husband remarry a woman better than me, they kicked my son and me out of the house penniless. My in-laws started brainwashing my daughter in kindergarten. By the time they kicked my son and me out, my daughter was calling me a pig and told others I was the housemaid. She had never once called me mom. She kept laughing at me with my in-laws, even on the day I left. I'm her mother and gave birth to her, but I could no longer see her as my lovely daughter because she never stopped scolding and mocking me with my in-laws. I agreed right away when my husband said he was going to get full custody of our daughter. My son was born to my husband's lover, and my family made sure he knew by constantly making fun of him. So when I left, he cried. He said he wanted to go with me, and even promised to work hard after graduating middle school. My son knew there was no place for him at home. It was evident when my husband asked her daughter to stay with them, but didn't say a word to my son. Even though I didn't give birth to my son, I couldn't leave him after he begged me to take him away. Also, I basically raised him after his mother abandoned him after birth, so it seemed like a natural decision to take him with me. After my son entered middle school, he worked part-time in the early morning to bring extra money into the household. He tried his best to be kind and helpful. I don't know if it was because he was worried I'd also abandon him. He worked hard and made $100 per month. Later, when he was in high school, he worked diligently and made about $800 a month. Of course, I also worked hard. With our paychecks combined, we were living a comfortable life. My son has always been considerate and supportive since we moved out. He would always say, I'll make our life better in the future, Mom! and study hard when he was not working. Finally, he was accepted to university and got a full scholarship to cover his tuition. When he told me he had been accepted, I said, Congratulations! I'm so proud of you! And he smiled happily. After graduating from university, he found a job at a big company. We were still living together, and but our life became a lot easier after my son started working. His salary became three times more than when he was working part-time. My son has been working hard since he was a teenager, probably due to his fear of being abandoned again. Now that he can survive on his own, so I told him, It's time for you to move out. You should have your own life and live wherever and however you want. He replied, what are you talking about? I can't be happier with my life, and I'm fine living like this. I was actually happy to hear him say that. He tried so hard since he was young to not be abandoned. Now he's all grown up, and we've always lived together. Even though we're not related by blood, he has become my real son. Because of that, I was also afraid one day he'd tell me he didn't need me anymore. One day, my son brought home the girl he was dating and introduced her to me. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Sheila. Hi, I'm Sheila. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sheila is a lovely girl. She always brought my favorite desserts when she came to visit. You don't have to keep bringing gifts when you come over. Oh, don't worry. My friend works at a bakery and she always gives me a discount and she would answer me with a silly smile. Oh, my friend gave me three tickets to a hot spring resort. Let's go together. I'm okay, you two should go. Come with us, hot springs are so relaxing. It's so nice and relaxing there. She's very good at persuading me. My son also never stops asking till I agree to join them. Sheila would also message me about when they got into a fight. Sometimes, I'd join her and scold my son. Some other times, I'd act as her mediator. It didn't take long for them to get married. When they married, they asked me, How about we live together? Yeah, Mom! Let's live together! As happy as I was to hear them say that, I decided to turn down their offer. I won't be living with you. You've been supportive ever since you were young. We went through tough times together and I probably wouldn't even be alive now without you. Now it's time for you to do your best to support Sheila. You'll understand why when you have your own kids one day. 
Hi. You helped me enough. Thanks to you, I can live a decent life now. So don't worry about me. I finally convinced them both. Sheila also heard from my son about what happened when I got divorced. It's not common for a mother to raise her husband's child with another woman. But I raised my son and kept him with me even after we were kicked out. My son knew how much I had to do to raise him alone. After Sheila heard our story, she cried and thanked me. I wouldn't have met him if you didn't take him with you. Thank you for so much for everything you did. We had a few more discussions afterward and I decided I would move to a house close to their home so we could visit each other often. So our new life started. My son and I began to live close but separately. Sheila still comes over to my house often. Let's have lunch together. Thanks, but you really don't have to worry about me. It's nothing. Your son's at work and eating lunch alone at home is just too boring. So why don't we chat and have a nice lunch together? I was happy to see Sheila. So we talked for hours. Then I suddenly got a phone call from my daughter. I hadn't seen her since I moved out. I still had the same number when I moved out, but I was surprised she would call me. Hi, Mom. Remember me? Yeah, I do. But why are you calling? I want to come live with you. I want to get out of this house. Where do you live now? Are you still living with my brother? It'd be fun if we could all live together. I don't know why my daughter called me out of the blue, and I couldn't understand what she was talking about. Her call only brought back terrible memories. The way she used to mock and laugh at me all came back to my mind. We'll not live together. You never considered me your mother. How can you ask me that now? That's why I called you. I wanted to start over. Why are you not happy that I called you? How can you call yourself a mother? You mocked and scolded me with the people from that house. You didn't even try to stop me when you know, when you knew I was leaving. All of you laughed at us when we left. I quit being your mother at that moment. By the way, I have a daughter now. What? You got remarried! That's even better. I'd love to meet my stepfather. What's he like? Is he rich? There's no stepfather. I'm talking about my son's wife. She's my only daughter now. Excuse me? I'm your real daughter. My brother's just a child dad had with another woman. He's a stranger. Are you gonna turn your back on your real daughter? It's your responsibility to help your daughter. She hasn't changed a bit since I left. I was disappointed in my daughter back then, but my emotions toward her are even colder now. I couldn't care less about blood. You didn't consider me your mother when I was thrown out like garbage, but my son and I worked hard to make a life for ourselves. He's my true family. You made your choice when you decided to stay with that man, so you're free to do whatever you want. It's not my concern, and please don't ever contact me again. Then I hung up. I felt so good after saying what I always wanted to say. My daughter didn't explain why she called me all of a sudden, so I contacted one of the few relatives I stayed in touch with. My ex-husband remarried a woman who looked like she would be a better wife. However, that woman kept all my ex-husband's salary to herself and neglected my daughter because they were unrelated. Things got worse when my ex-husband and his new wife had a son. The whole family started treating my daughter like garbage. However, their marriage didn't last long. The woman cheated on my ex-husband and left with their son. My ex-husband had to deal with all the debts all by himself. And because of the debts, they lived a pretty difficult life. My daughter didn't get to college and struggled to find a job. She overheard my ex-husband and ex-in-laws talking about how my son graduated from university and got hired by a big company. So she thought maybe she wouldn't have to worry about money anymore if she came to live with us. It's true that my daughter and I are related by blood, and my son is an outsider. But I learned that family isn't always blood. I'll always cherish my true family and continue to support my son and our family. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.